sorry if the camera moving about a bit my stand is packed in a box somewhere so this is basically is what it is but right now i'm just gonna sit on my little ball <laughs> and um just give you a bit of a should be my 34 week update oh my gosh um but to be fair 34 week i was pretty much getting a bit of my energy back i was super tired because we had to like do the last bit of packing um during that time um whew. yeah doing some packing during that time of the week um and so i'll be packing a box and then oh hold on yes yeah, so i'll be packing a box and then i would have to <laughs> sit down for like 10 minutes to lie down because i was like pretty much exhausted um so yeah so the tiredness was just like a lot last week and i was just thinking how on earth am i going to move like how on earth is this actually going to happen but um since it started like monday then all of a sudden this boost just came in and i was like Pew! so like near the end of like my 30 34 week journey i was pretty much in the in that phase high energy phase and yeah i was just cracking on with it really it was just cracking on getting on getting things going um she's been moving a lot definitely a lot and i think because i've been moving a lot now since i don't really recognize her normal moving patterns but then when i circle down for a bit and then she's like blah, 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 okay, okay there she is because obviously when you're moving about you don't necessarily um feel sometimes sometimes i do <laughs> Because she's been making it known, and then sometimes I just don't. Cause I'm just cracking on, and they're like more slighter movements that I would have noticed if I was like just lying down, like how I normally have been, just in this horizontal position. Um, but yeah, to be honest, 34 weeks just went by like a breeze. Like I just can't believe it's just time is just going on so 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 fast. It's just a lot. Um, but yeah, like we've got all her stuff. Well, I think we're still waiting for some deliveries and stuff, but. I've gotten so much more stuff with for her. I still need to let you guys see. I think I'm just going to do everything once we get her stuff up and running and just kind of go through everything that way because it's just a lot unboxing while we're unpacking stuff away and doing all of this kind of stuff. So I will get to that video eventually just when we get us. She's just going again now. I think because I'm just talking more. Um, so when that time comes, we'll just we'll deal with it then you know we'll just deal with it then but i just want to give you a quick update there's not much that's been happening like body wise with me change wise this um this week it's been pretty it's just been tiring i have been yeah actually two symptoms that have been really really bad is my um tiredness in my 34th week and nausea oh my days and no three actually and my heartburn heartburn nausea and sleepy and dryness i'm actually so make that five i don't know how many i did but yeah my hands been really really dry like i think it's just dry cry it's just a feet be dry cry and i'm just like well i just creamed you and then now like it's like it's like dry to the point where it feels stiff and i'm just like yo what's going on so those have been what's been going on so i just constantly moisturize so sorry <laughs> constantly moisturizing uh, moisturize my belly i have to moisturize at least three times a day like um, sometimes more because i if it dries out on my stomach and i'll be doing something i'll bend over and i just feel mostly on this side on my right hand side i feel like sh my skin stretching and i'm like oh my days that's so painful and then i just moisturize and it feels so much better so those are the one of the things i'm just like my dry skin the tiredness the nausea the heartburn and that was it for yeah and it's just been those are like the other symptoms but the heartburn will just come sometimes without me even doing anything i'll just get a really bad heartburn not even eating or drinking anything i'm like oh why is this happening to me why is this happening to me it's done on time do you know what i mean um and the nausea that just flares up again i need to eat right now <laughs> scene um so yeah i'm really really thirsty right now so i think i'm just gonna make me a little bit of food have some water and then crack on 
um, with the day because you know I'm moving. If you're catching up with my moving series, go over and see all of that and how we're progressing and going on with that because all that fun stuff is there. But bump wise, that's all that's going on this week. So bump date. Oh yeah. This is how she is right now. Let's give you a skin to skin. It looks more, isn't it? <laughs> when unclothe. Like my belly button is proper protruding now and you've got this little flat bit. Sorry about the hair, it is what it is. Um, so yeah. This is how she is right now. I don't know if I showed you my new stretch mark. Hey, it's my new friend there. Lovely, isn't it? Join the gang, you might as well, darling. Do you know what I mean, everyone else is <laughs> trying to make impressions on my body. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my social what? 34th week, guys. Um, just yeah, I can't believe that she's just gonna be here soon. Like I so I just wanna crack it on getting this house sorted and just making sure, you know, everything is perfect for you know when baby girl comes. So yeah, until next week guys, I shall see you then. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've been a bit shambolic with the filming process over the move and everything i just i don't think i just really took in how difficult it would be to kind of like take out the camera process document everything feeling how i'm feeling literally eight months pregnant it's just a lot on the body it's just a lot and your memory is all then and you're in the middle of doing stuff and you've got to take out a camera but then you're just like looking a bit rank and everything so it's just all just a bit kind of a lot right now so um but i did want to come down i always do my weekly updates and i'll kind of just throw everything in at the moment um because like the whole house series and weekly updates i think it's just a bit overwhelming to do two separate things so i think i'm just going to do it in one just for the time being um just because it's just a bit more easier for me and why make my life more difficult right now do you know what i mean it's just not necessary so that being said i am now 35 weeks prego um cannot even i will say this cannot even believe do you can believe it um it's just been a bit i've had a lot of energy this week like a lot a lot of energy like when it's like that nesting phase and then you have all this energy to like clean, do whatever. I think it's been, and then some with a move. So maybe if I was just settled already in the house and going for everything, it may not have taken so much of a toll on me. Like today I'm really knackered. Like I could do, but I think after this video, I'm gonna have a nap because it's just too much. Um, so sorry about that humming sign in the background as well as my fan and neither on me because hot flashes, flushes, whatever they're called. Um, so yeah oh my back oh my days i just feel like she's grown so much as well so and my boobs are a lot more heavier and they're a bit more tender than they were before because there wasn't that tender before they've been like normal and um, so i just think the weight of the belly i could definitely see that she's pointing down a bit more i'll show you in my um with the little bump date <sighs> um so i just feel yeah it's just like a lot of weight is just being pulled forward and i've been quite good for my pregnancy to always just hold myself back but I've been noticing like it's just more of a strain because my body just feels to just way forward. My eyes feel like closing right now. I'm literally so tired. <sighs> ah, I'm sure you can see it. I just look tired, isn't it? Um, so yeah, but uh stuff with the house, like everything's been going pretty smoothly. Like we've been here like officially a week now um we've kind of got far as well with like unpacking boxes like we're more unpacked than we are packed i think the biggest areas that we've got to do like her room all her clothes are washed all her stuff is out all her room is organized and everything only thing i haven't like done in there is like dress it up like how i want it to be kind of thing and i don't think i'm gonna go full whammy until after hugh's mum leaves um she's gonna be staying with us for a month um oh, sorry i think i've just something in my eyeball I oh, lovely it's not gonna go away because it's a sister <laughs> it's like right up there 
we move. Um, so, yeah, because she's going to be staying with us for a month. And the way how I want to do her room, it doesn't really, like, how the bed is set up at the moment. I want it to be changed and everything. So, I think it's best to just wait till she moves. Um, wait till she leaves, sorry. Um, and then um, I'll go for when we were setting that up. Plus, it's going to be like more decorative pieces, so it's not going to be like big stuff I'm going to have to do that's not going to take so much energy out of me. So, and I don't mind about that whole delay because she's going to be helping me big time. So, <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Um, next thing is like our bedroom. Like, I already got caddies in each room, so there's caddy in her room, caddy in the living room, caddy in the um our bedroom i do need to set up the caddy for the car i need to put the car seat in the car we've only unboxed the car seat yesterday and the buggy with the so the car seat's actually out of the box but the buggy we just opened the lid and was like that's a job for tomorrow because <laughs> it was like late at night as well um so we literally opened it so it's still in the box we've just looked at it and been like oh <laughs> that's about it um so yeah we may actually go i may film a bit of that actually um to see how that goes so i'm just on my bouncy ball right now it really helps um so yeah we're just gonna maybe go through that and open it up we've got like a whole set um i forgot what the equal bubba so we went on equal bubba um this is what we got uh, one of our gifts from our registry um so yeah we've got like a whole set that came with like a stroller a cot um a high chair like or so many amazing stuff in this so i'll go through that as well um when we're going through the brain i can't remember <laughs> um, when we're going through when we, yeah when i'm talking about unpacking everything so yeah i'll go through that because all the main stuff i do want to go through like i'm packing with you guys just kind of show you like um the stuff that we've got and how that we find that it is once we've delivered like does it feel like it's like really good quality and does it feel like it's just nice moving about so yeah we'll give like our feedback on that and how we like that um but at the moment yeah my hospital bag is all packed um i that's also a video i need to show you guys of like what's in my hospital bag as well so that'll be to come because that's like a nice thing for me to kind of go over and just remember what's in there as well and to know if i've forgotten everything so i think maybe either this weekend or next week during the week because i think this week we still want to focus on getting the house like fully prepped pe prepared everything like that um but yeah i think mostly house wise and then bump wise she's been like i noticed on the days when i was just like moving about it's maybe because i didn't feel her as much maybe because i was moving about so much and i've just been so active um, and I've just noticed on that come my quieter moments and I just feel her just being her usual self like kicking about and everything so but I would definitely feel her when I was like carrying stuff or whatever like nothing too crazy or heavy everyone's like maybe put it down don't touch that box and not that I'll put myself out there and be doing craziness anyway but it's just like you know some stuff you know that you're that you can manage like it would be like a bag of pillows do you know what I mean you can pick up a bag of pillows um so yeah and i had the energy for it i was like i'm going to utilize this also it's helping me be more active prepare me for labor so that's the kind of like mental state that i kind of got with it like i wasn't overdoing myself if i needed to rest i would sit down you know it hasn't been that strenuous on my body like that i just think um yeah it's just been my tiredness today is just because i think it's, i really had a late night last night <laughs> not that we've done anything crazy as well it's just I've done like laundry like you know um so oh sorry um but yeah but other than that so my main things that i just noticed in my body like symptom wise this week um it's just been my boobs starting to get a bit more tender i won't say sore um but yeah just been getting tender and i can feel they're just starting to you know get more sensitive i feel like my stomach has definitely popped and dropped a bit more um yeah definitely and i feel like i've just been getting more it's like there's like a pain like a not a pain like a strain sometimes that just comes on like my right hand side at the top and it was funny like funny i was thinking i was just like is this even normal but then there's another lady that i was watching she was just like she was describing the same strain that she's had and she's like that's completely normal so i was just like it's so weird like when you hear certain things and then like another mum was just like talking about it and it's like oh yeah it's completely normal so 
that's fine but i do have a doctor's my midwife's appointment on thursday um so i will talk to her about that is then as well i'm not gonna go, go completely off and go on youtube do you know what i mean so um yeah so i'll definitely speak to her about that because i think those are the biggest symptoms at the moment um and just standing on my feet for a long period of time like can't do swollen feet it's not gonna happen that's why right now like i've just i've just gone out and about just to get go to the shop get some bits and bobs and now i've come back on my feet and like <sighs> so i'm just like i'm done for the moment i'm done and my hands feel swollen like clenching them in a fist <sighs> yeah that doesn't hurt but you know it just feels tight like it just feels tight like the swollenness is real like i keep on feeling like i'm gonna sleep um but yeah other than that has there been anything else i just had more energy than usual like it kind of feels like second trimester vibes do you know what i mean but i definitely feel like she's definitely preparing like i know i've always i always thought that she was gonna come early i know she'll come before her due date and I don't, I, but I don't think she's gonna be like super, super early. Like, hey guys, I'm here tomorrow. Like, I don't think that. But um, I know that she'll come before her due date. My dad really, really wants her to come in August because that's his birthday month as well. Um, but she could do because she's what the beginning of September, so it could potentially happen. It really, really could. I'm just kind of hoping that she just doesn't come before Hugh's mum comes, which is next weekend so another two weeks that this whole stretch of week next whole stretch of weeks because this week now going into i'll be going to be 36 weeks so next week i'll be 37 so i'll be technically full term so it could happen it could happen um i'm just wanting the house to be sorted like i think that's just my main priority because then i don't have to then come back and then the house this box is still undone and this is da, 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 da. i just want everything to be done and my otd just won't allow it for me to not be done before the baby gets here um so yeah i could be really super anal about stuff like that i'm just like no this thing's been done this needs to be organized there's even come down to like certain cloths that i use for certain things and i had to like school hue about it i was just like you don't use this one for that because this one's for the windows this one's for polishing and then this was for that <laughs> He just needs to know they're all color coded as well so it's like it's easy like it's easy i sound psycho but it's just that's just how i can be like so super able about those kind of stuff so but yeah we're kind of um i just need to get my office area kind of set up he really got a good tackle onto his office area last night as well so that's just a bit more organized there's less of headache um so main priority today is just kind of like sorting out my shoes and bags where it's gonna go because i think i'll really help clear out the way in the bedroom um but yeah it's just it's just a lot right now and to just kind of send you guys <laughs> let's just not do you know what i mean like it's just too much it's just too much um so yeah just there's just loads of bags and boxes like everywhere everywhere um but yeah but today we've got like a also like a drinks trolley like alcohol like little trolley thing so i think i may have a go at putting that together or i might i may just leave that to hugh because i put the drinks on it i think i'd be really good of doing that creative bit and he can yeah let's let's him do the bits together and i'll do the creative bits of like place and stuff i think we just know what we can do. i can do it but it's just a lot more strenuous isn't it not strenuous but oh, do you know what i mean mm. so yeah but should we go to bump day i think we should uh oh so here's little madam or oh, big madam now i don't know if you can see so i just feel like she's dropped a lot like it's more going down now where i feel like before she was just very still more up that feels amazing <sighs> but yeah i feel like she's dropping a lot more see my stretch marks coming through a lot more and then it's just area here is where i'm feeling like the strain sometimes and i know it's, like it's getting a bit of like dry patches here so i've been extra vigilant to be um more moisturizing 
So I'll just on my stomach. Um, I burnt myself accidentally with an oven tray the other day. But that seemed to be kind of just didn't really hurt. It's a very you no know, surface burn. Didn't go any deeper. We just put aloe vera on it straight away, and it's been okay. But yeah, my oh, hey baby. Uh, my belly button is just flatter now. Sometimes it has that little hood, but today no, not really. I feel like my body, my belly button changes shape every day. <laughs> like it's not the same as it was before. But yeah, so this is her. This is she. You know. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Oh. I've also started using this um, belt support. I'll go and get it actually. Now, so I know I've got the other um, girdle thing that I bought it's meant to help with my snapback. Um, but my dad got this for my sister to help with her back. And it's just something that you just wrap around, I'll show you. So you just kind of do this with it. Like wrap it around right at the bottom Ooh. and she kind of just holds it up like that and this has been super super helpful sometimes like right now that feels so great so i wear this sometimes when i go shopping and she just helps around oh yeah not to use when you're sitting down it's super uncomfortable but um yeah when i'm just doing like in a bit when i after my nap when i'm going to be doing some bits around the house i'll be wearing that so that'd be really helpful and supportive on my stomach and just holds her up a bit so it just takes less weight off like my hips and my um bladder because every moment i feel like i need to go pee and before i do know that the little trickles but now i'm actually like pee peeing so i'm like oh okay um but yeah i just definitely feel just prepping do you know what i mean like and even a lower bit just under my stomach it just feels like it was like getting wider and i've been getting like really like vaginal robby pains like sometimes it's just and i don't know if this is because i've been doing like when i'm getting doing stuff i've been like squatting and stuff so i've been squatting down picking stuff up squatting up more and i've been doing that more than i would have so you know when you were to do like normal squats and whatever then you'll feel like in the body like oh I've done my squats today but mine just goes straight to my lady garden so i'm just like but i'm like is that kind of good as well because it's like strengthening my vaginal walls to help with labor like with birth i don't know but i'm like any good kind of like exercise in a way must be good like because i'm still doing my like little like pelvic floor exercises and kegels not as much as i would like to be doing them but i do do them so at this point i'm going to talk to my midwife about it and see what her comments are about it because it's just like okay um but yeah other than that it's been a really really nice week um just kind of getting set up and situated in a new place and she's been an absolute delight um so yeah i'm really like, enjoying pregnancy as much as it's been a bit like ugh. but i'm in I, overall i really i'm just really enjoying my pregnancy i'm just loving it loving having my little bump here love feeling her move like i just had a bath on the weekend and she was just i tell you she was just like look of motion <laughs> i was like okay girl you're having a party in there um so yeah it was just really nice it's just been really really nice pregnancy i'm not gonna lie um but yeah i will go through loads of bits and bobs that we've been purchasing for the baby and everything like that and i think i'll just catch up with that in a bit but today this was just a bump date you know so i may put it all together in another video or stretch it out and let's see how it goes but yeah until my next video guys i shall see you then bye